Welcome everyone to my mixed jewels. No, I'm just kidding. Welcome you guys. This is Monique's Jewels channel, and we have jewelry for days on here. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do videos um, showing vintage jewelry, costume jewelry, gold and sterling. I um, purchase things from thrift stores, jewelry stores, Goodwill, Blue Box, um, thread up, um, eBay sometimes. Um, I like Poshmark. I like Etsy. So you just kind of never know. I might get a piece or two from just about anywhere. This video is actually showing some pieces that are um, a, a kind of a um, mix, I guess you would say, of a Shop Goodwill haul, which was a boho haul, plus a blue box, and, um, oh, some other things I found, yeah, as I was making up, um, I was making up uh, lots, uh, wearable lots, with, like, costume and vintage jewelry in them. My wearable lots are 100% um, wearable jewelry with nothing missing and they're not worn, nothing's worn down or anything like that. So I found some more stuff and so it was boho enough to put with the other um, grouping. So I do a thing called um, a showcase spotlight from time to time and I do have something to show. But if you'd like to purchase anything from my videos or this video here, um, all you have to do is go to my email, moniquesjewels2 at gmail.com, and let me know what it is that you'd like to purchase. If it's, um, if you can do a screenshot, that's great. Timestamp is always perfect. If I can get a timestamp and a price, that's even better. You'll need to always be registered before you can purchase from me, though. If you have not registered, all you have to do is email me your PayPal address, email address, and your shipping address and full name. That's all you have to do to register. So we're going to go ahead and get started, but I thought I'd go over that again just to make sure that everybody knows what to do. And I do have, I think this week I have three new subscribers. So don't forget, please do not comment below the video to purchase. Just email me, okay? All right, the showcase spotlight for today is a, these were in a box all together. So I have a few different items. The first item I have on my, on my spotlight is a Betsy Johnson pair of earrings. They are a rose gold with a really pretty little pink um, faceted heart and little pink rhinestones up at the top. Oh, that's cute. Um, the price on this is $30. Um, it doesn't say where it's from or anything, but that's okay. They are approximately an inch and a half still on the card, so I'm going to put 12 on these. Well worth it. They're in perfect condition. They're the lever backs, which I just love. And there is no wear on them at all. See the little bows? I love her jewelry. Okay, next, I have a pair of earrings. They are clip-ons, but where is my... There it is. They're clip-ons, but I gotta see if they're these are if I can get to the cartouche, it's kind of under the clip. KJL Kenneth, Kenneth J. Lane. And I have looked and looked all over for these. I have found a pair like these from Kenneth J. Lane, but they were round. 
um, I have offered these a couple of times. I don't think people really realize how expensive they are. These have the most beautiful jewel tone um, glass faceted be um, faceted. They're like cabochon, and they are um, set. Isn't that pretty? They're like bezel set. They're cabo cabochons, but the round pieces are, you know, gem cut around the edges. So you have like a sapphire tone, blue, an emerald color of green, and a red, ruby red. They are not stones, they're just glass, but they're kind of um, a higher quality, almost like a Swarovski. Swarovski, sorry, I never say that right. Swarovski, and these are 15. Just gorgeous. They're in excellent shape. Okay, set those over here. Let's see, I can set these here so you guys can see them. There we go. Of course, those are backwards. They even look good backwards. Um, there's that. Don't forget when you first come in to give me a thumbs up or you can do it on the way out. I don't care. Either way is fine with me. Okay, next, we have a beautiful, just, this is a Whiting and Davis, and I'll see if I can get you guys to almost, you could probably close to see that, not quite. They're cartouches, like, um, it's shaped almost like a real elongated bow. It goes down in the center, dips in the center, and comes back out. Um, it's right there. These are beautiful. These look brand new. I don't believe that these have been worn. I'm just not positive. But these are gorgeous. These have like almost like a hematite bead here. And these are beautiful. These are $10. Whiting and Davis, excellent shape. They're about an inch. Both of these are almost an inch. Yeah, they're in great shape. Okay, so if anybody's interested in Whiting and Davis, which I, I love Whiting and Davis, I think they, they're the ones that made the beautiful um, little, what would you call them? Like opera bags, they're made out of mesh. Yeah, just beautiful. Okay, we have another piece here. It is Betsy Johnson, and it is, the price tag on it is 38. I was seeing if I could see where it was being sold at. We have the Betsy Johnson tag here. Very pretty, and we have another tag here, still on it. So you know this has never been worn. And we have the gold tone, the cross there with the little beads, and her iconic um, kind of leopard print, animal print art. And it is approximately, this thing looks absolutely brand new. This is, Let's see here. The shortest one is, oh, I'm doing it backwards. Sorry, guys, I turned this around. This is 16 inches and 18 inches. Plus, you have a really cute extender here that has her heart cartouche on it there. And like I said, the price was 38, but I'm gonna put 15 on this one and it's in excellent shape. I'm in excellent shape. Very pretty. There's that. And then the extra special piece is just darling. We have the um, large chain here. 
I'll go ahead and open it up so you can see it better. Isn't this spectacular? Ta -da! Oh, I think I got it backwards. Shake it, shake it. You gotta shake it. It was in this box too long. Oh, goodness. So, what you have is her bow. Then you have these kind of, um, these are like a silver uh, gun metal. You have her keys here. I hope you guys can see this. I'll pull it down. Her tiger or leopard animal prints here. The key with the crystals, the lock with the bow these little circles here just darling it's really really pretty there's another circle there um, the chain is fabulous it's like a like a wheat chain but thick a thick wheat chain um, there's her iconic little tag um, this one does not have a uh, actual tag on it but it looks very new it doesn't look all worn um, I'm looking to make sure there are no missing pieces this says love that's a bow I've got uh, a crown on top of this heart and this heart yeah this is really sweet there's a crown there too cool okay and the bow looks great let me see how long this is real quick. Okay. It is, let's do it from here. I moved it. I keep forgetting. Um, let's do it like this. Okay. It is right at 15 and a half. But with this extender, it could be quite a bit longer. It could be right at 16 and probably 18. So it's not short. It's not going to come up on your neck. But it is just darling. Once you put it on, I'm sure that it'll kind of untwist. Like I said, it was in that little box for quite some time. Okay, let's see if I can get it. Yeah, it'll lay flat. Oh, I forgot I changed... <laughs> There we go. I brought my camera down, so so in that darling. Okay, so we're gonna put twenty on Betsy, the big Betsy. And I'll put them all back and keep them nice, separated from the other jewelry, so it doesn't get messed up. The, this type of jewelry will come in a box. Okay. And I've got a great big box here to put this in if anyone's interested. Okay. There we go with our showcase spotlight. Okay, here we go with the boho from the Shop Goodwill. Um, blue box and other things. Okay. Oh, this is cute. Okay, the first thing we have is what's called a collar, a beta collar. They used to make these back in the day. It actually has a hook and eye that you would have found on a dress that was made back in the 60s and 70s um, when our mothers used to, <laughs> and we used to make our own dresses, um, which is unheard of nowadays. We were actually taught how to make aprons and dresses and things like that but this is really pretty it's orange and black and white it would fit on your neck like this it is approximately let's see 16 inches and it sets right like that very interesting i like this so let's put four on this okay Next, let's grab this. This is pretty. Pretty, pretty. Hope everybody's doing well. Tomorrow is Friday. Everybody's all excited. Okay. 
There we go. This is like one great big, huge, giant, long. This is pretty, though. Isn't that pretty? It's got faux pearls that are kind of a plastic resin. A little heavier than just plastic. You have some real, um, other, uh, real broke pearls here. Um, some of these are glass, some are plastic, but it's really pretty. So this is about 48, about 56 inches total. So this definitely would double and even triple. So double, it's very pretty. Real nice. Lightweight, pretty for the spring, summer, or fall. Um, let's put... Let's put four on that one. Four is good. Okay, I'm grabbing. Okay. This is that satin finish gold tone. Sounds pretty. This is called Avenue. Right there. This is in great shape. It is a triple strand, I do believe. Yep. I think this might be the... Is that the front? Yeah, that looks like the front. I think. Hmm. There we go. So the triple strand gold frost by Avenue is very pretty. Sounds good. It is approximately. Um, 18 inches. Yeah, it goes all the way up to the 9. So that's 18, between 18 and 20 inches on this one. There we go. And we'll put 4 on that one also. We're stuck at 4. Okay. We've got a little kind of a brass tone gunmetal. Um, I think it's a bracelet. Sometimes they're, um, they could be long enough to be a, what do you call it? An anklet. So what have we got here? Wait a minute here. Let's get it together. It's just been in that pile over there. That's pretty. So we have a couple of hands, Hamza hands here, Hamza hands. This one comes around like that. This one has a little rhinestone. This one has a little eye. It's so cute. This one has the heart. Come on. There's the heart. And then the hands of hand here. There we go. I think I got it. I do believe. Very nice. And it is approximately, let's see, it is about seven and three quarter inches. Yeah. So it's a nice long one. And we'll put three on that. It's cute. Shut it too. Up close. Yeah, it's in good shape. Okay, very good. Okay, now we have gold tone with some orange. This is really pretty. It's got like crystals. Let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, there's like four crystals around. That little orange stone there. And then you have the same thing here. And it's on a really nice gold tone chain. It has an extender here. Oh, it's knotted. It's got a little knot in it that will get out. And it's got an extender that actually comes off. So what you get with this is an extender for other gold tone necklaces. But anyway. <laughs> so this is about 12, about 28 inches total. 
And then you've got a couple inches with this nice extender. Um, it's really pretty. Let's put five on this one. It's an excellent shade. I'm trying to get this little knot out real quick. I don't like leaving them for um, to forget, and then somebody purchases it and they get it with a knot. It's not good. So I hope you guys are having a great evening. I know when I started to come on a little bit earlier, there was a bunch of um, lives going on. And so I was like, well, I'll make this one to where it comes on after those are done. Give people something to do. My night owls give them something to do <laughs> later on. Because once, you know, the auction's over, it's not like you can really... Um, purchase. It's like it's done deal. So this way you've got something to look to look at and maybe be able to purchase and not have to worry about the pricing. But I love auctions. Now don't get me wrong. I love some auctions. Okay. I got it untangled. Right there. Okay. So we'll put five on that one. That one is really pretty. Oh, I didn't show you the back. Even the back is pretty. I see it. Is that a mark? Tell me it is. Okay. It's a mark. I'm excited. The mark is N N A T. N A. Yeah. N R T. Yeah. N R. L wait a minute. <laughs> it could be oh man, hold on. It could be NRT. That's what it is. Sorry, I had to turn my light on. NRT, which makes me think maybe it's Avon. I don't know. So we're gonna put five on it. Okay. I've got a little vintage piece here. It's very pretty. It is a hook and eye closure. This is one I'm not going to be able to measure in the conventional way. So I will grab this and we will try. So we will start here and go around and go around. And go around some more and it stops at 18 it stops at 18 so that doesn't mean but it just means it's not gonna like choke you to death it'll actually go on and you'll have room oh yeah this is cute it will give you some room. This is interesting. What it is, I've seen one that unraveled one time that someone was making. And it's actually a, a curly wire and all the beads are put on. And then they have to do this pattern here. Yeah. It takes a whole lot of patience to do the bead work. I don't care what it is, if it's earrings, this type of thing, it just takes a lot of time. So this one I will put three on, and remember it is vintage, okay? It's pretty. All right, I'm grabbing. Okay, we've got a... Let's see, does this have a little wear? Yeah, it looks like it has a little wear on it. Um... Let's just do a dollar on this. This is cute. But I see a little bit of wear there. And I don't want anybody to be disappointed. Okay, we'll do a dollar on that one. I don't know if I did this one yesterday or not. It was kind of sitting in the new pile and the old pile. So... I'm going to go ahead and show this to you real quick. 
Oh, I didn't even give you a link. Just because it's a dollar doesn't mean I shouldn't have gave you a link. Hold on here. It is about, it's about 32 inches total. Plus, with this here, it's probably about 35. But this would still be a nice necklace. It's not that worn that it wouldn't be nice to wear. So, sorry about that. I don't know if I showed this yesterday or not. I just think it's super interesting. You have these kind of filigree metal yellow. They look a little brighter than they really are on the on the um, screen. They're not white. They're kind of a mustard yellow, almost a yellow yellow. I'll show you the difference. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell because the lighting. Um, but this is really really cute. I don't see much wear on this. Um, it's awfully sweet. This one's a long one. I like the way these are shaped. So that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that is right at 34 inches. And I think someone might really like this. We'll put three on it. And I do believe it's vintage. You know, even though it's got a lobster on it, I think it's a little older. Oh my. I've got a big pile. <laughs> Ooh, look at this earring. Oh, my Lord. Now, that reminds me of kind of like Whiting and Davis, what they do. This mesh. I'll put this over here. I don't know if I'll ever find the other one. I haven't had very much luck with. Oh, listen. This is so cute. I wonder if this is sterling. Well, it's got a hair. Hold on here. Hold on. Get off there. Do they come off? They do. Um, I like this. But I don't know. What does it say? I don't see any markings. Like as far as sterling. It is just so cute. And it's got a spring ring. This this is older. Um, let me see. Let me look at it with the loop. Loop it. No, I don't see anything on it. No, it's got that smell. It doesn't, yeah, it kind of has that metal smell. I love it though. It's a bell. Makes a beautiful sound. Let's see if it's. Oh God. It's a bit magnetic, wouldn't you say? That might not be. I don't know. You want to test it? Let's test it. We've still got quite a bit of jewelry left to go. Pretty good, really. Let us see. I've got to be extremely careful with this stuff. I hold on, I can't see it. I think it disappeared. No, it didn't disappear. Kind of there. Let's do something a little bit. I do very much of a. I'm gonna do this and then look at it and see how it looks. I didn't hurt it. Okay, let's try that. It could be silver plate. That weird. I just don't know. I don't like it when I don't know. It 
you know, it's still there, but I think it's silver plate. I think that is why sometimes it's just so hard. And it doesn't matter if it's silver plate, it's no, you know, it's not worth any more than just a, you know, little regular um, necklace. Yeah, I can't, I don't like it when I can't tell. But I know for a fact it's not sterling. So if it's silver plated, that's okay. It's just cute. It's just cuter than a button. Okay. And you guys, we're real casual around here. If, you know, sometimes my dogs bark. It just gets ridiculous. There we go. So I like it, though. It's really, oh, it sounds really close to this. But anyway, <laughs> oh shoot, I like it. And it is approximately 12 inches, or 24. So let's, let's put uh, $4 on it, because it is an antique piece. And it's so cute. Okay, we'll put four on that, I like it. Okay, next we have, I'm just checking it. Make sure we don't have any. No, it looks pretty good. This is a gold tone. Kind of a hammered. Um, ouch. Isn't that pretty? It is so close to a gold silver. I, it, it's kind of freaking me out. Let's see. Uh, I don't. I can't tell. See, there's gold. That's gold. Maybe it's a goldish silver. Well, let's just say it's a goldish, goldish silver tone. But it's really cute. It's nice and long. It's about 12, 13. It's about 30 inches, I would say. Yeah, I think it does have a gold cast to it. It's not super gold tone. Okay, so let's put four on this. It's, it's nice because it's a nice weight. It's not that super tin that's going to make it like, yeah. This is so cute. Okay, let me... Fix it here so it's got an extender. Get down there. This is cute. You see that? <laughs> it's got the little buoy. I think that's what that is. It's blue and white. Oh, that crystal's cute. You got crystals with a real pretty rondelle. Then you've got the red crystal. You've got look. A little ship wheel and then you have a darling little anchor oh, I like this let's put four on this one this is cute just the charms alone are cute you know what I mean are worth more than four dollars yeah they're nice oh and then there's a little prong set rhinestone right there cute so there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six charms. And they're all nice. Six nice little charms. Okay. Cute as a button. Let me see how long it was. It is let's see, 18 inches, guys. Really sweet. Okay, I'm digging deep. I'm digging deep. Okay, this is interesting. Huh. Oh, this is marked. Hold on here. This is... I don't know what this is. Viva... Viva Beads. V-I-V-A. Hmm. Never heard of it. These beads are like a mat. It's in great shape. These are pretty. 
these are real glass I do believe the crystals here they have these pretty little matte beads and these are cold so these might very well be um, stones just not sure but it's very pretty very shiny like that very nice so we're going to measure this and it is almost let's see if it wasn't on there it would be 18 inches so it's 18 inches plus a little this is viva beads so we'll put four on it very nice the beads are like like i said they're like that matte Instead of being tumbled soft, they're tumbled and they're like matte. I guess that's how you would call it, but they're pretty. Okay, let's move along, move along. Okay, so we've got one of these. People like these. It's like three beads and then a big bead. These are glass beads, I do believe. I think. Yeah, they're cold. Yeah, so let's put $2 on that. Nice stretchy. Still got good stretch to it. Let's see, I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing. Okay, next we have, this is J. Crew. yay. Okay, we got J. Crew. Let me put it on its first extender I mean it's first this has really pretty green and yellow with the crystals J crew is very popular not pretty has the big um, life preserver looking Clasp, and there's its little maker mark there. That one. It's got a really nice extender. I always do. So this extender is two inches. There's the front. Come on, straighten it. There's the front. No, it's not. Straighten it. What in the world? Okay. Here's the front. It's really pretty. And here's the back. Come on, come on, come on. There, it's not wanting to cooperate. Looks very, very nice. Okay, and let's give it a measure. It is right at... This is 18 inch, uh, no, 17 inches. That's without any extender. Okay, so it'll go up to 19 inches. Okay, so on the J Crew, we'll put six. Okay, and this one is cool. I don't even, this is old. This is neat. What's it say? It is marked. It is. I'll be dang, it says players. It has these little plastic beads with the gold. It's like on the front and then on the back. It's just, yeah. Kind of a, a frosted gold fleck paint kind of like a little scribble paint on them it's really cute it's a real pretty taupe with some gold and this is long it's 32 inches and we'll put four dollars on that and these are plasticky kind of resin acrylic resin beads very cute okay Let's grab. I see something pretty. Ooh. 
Okay, here's the front. Ooh, not quite. Come on. Here is the front. I got caught. Get off of there. This does not have a maker's mark. This is very, very strange because this thing is really pretty. Okay. So I stretch it out, make sure everything's on there. Yeah, it looks like it. Wonderful. These are like a kind of a frosty peach color. Pinky peach. Pinkish peach. I'm making sure all these are there. Um, I think you can see that really well on the gray. Let's see how long this is real quick. It is 18 inches, plus it has an extender of about an inch or so. Yeah, I think you can see that very well. Isn't that pretty? So even though this isn't marked, this is really nice. And all the rhinestones are there, so that's amazing. That is amazing. So let's put five on this one. No, four. I'm sorry, it's not marked. I was thinking it was J. Crew when I first saw it. So we'll put four on this one. It's very pretty. Okay. This is Lucky. Oh, it's got to be Lucky Brand. <laughs> it's got to be. That's all it says on this. It says Lucky through the whole stretchy. Lucky, lucky, and then it's a four-leaf clover. Lucky, lucky, lucky. So it's that mixed metal color. The gold, silver, and the um, copper or um, rose gold color. Very cute. And it's a little bit bigger. But it is darling. It really is. So let's put three on that one. Let's see now. Yeah. Oh, we got a pretty one. Look at the frosted orange. Oh, this is pretty. This is not marked either, and this thing is nice. This is really nice. Okay, let me see this. It's like that same type of chain. It's like a wheat chain. It's a little lighter gold tone, almost a frost. And then we have these beautiful beads here that are faceted, they're frosted. They're a plastic frost. This is gorgeous. See how cool it is? This is neat. Okay. This is so pretty. This is right at 16 inches, guys, and then you've got an extender. So I'm going to put five on it. Isn't that nice? I like that center stone. That thing is gorgeous. Okay, we'll put five on that one. I've got some more. Oh my god. Just hang on. A huge tangle. Okay. We'll go with this one because this one's just like the yellow one. But this one's cool too. I love this one. And it's probably exactly 18 inches also. It has the exact same hook that somebody's shut almost. Okay. I do believe this one is 18 too. These two are the exact same length, yep. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Look at the design on this. Yeah, this is so cool. Um, I'm going to put six on this one. It's a little bit more dramatic with the black, the orange, the green, the yellow, and the white, plus the red. Fabulous. It's very pretty. Okay, next, 
we have a plastic acrylic type of bracelet and it is too cute. It's a square, but it's rounded off. Very vintage. It is not Bakelite, unfortunately. Isn't that cute? So we'll put three on that. I love vintage stuff. Why do you keep attacking my jewelry? Okay, next we have... Yeah, we have a tangle and there's some pretty pieces. This one is marked. This is Aero, A-E-R-O. Aero Postal. Yeah. It's got a really nice chain on it. 1987 Aeropostale. I'll show you the tag. And then there's the 1987. There is the... Looks good, doesn't it? It's got a really nice chain. And then we have this beautiful... Uh, isn't that pretty? That's the back. That's the front. Isn't that pretty? Just needs a little bath. I love it. Let's put five on that. The chain alone is worth it. This really kind of needs wiped down. This ring here. And this needs a bath. So tough. But otherwise, it's so pretty. Just bring that. Okay. Now, I don't see very many Aeropostale things anymore. AEO, yes. American Eagle. But no, not Aeropostale. I saw a couple pieces the other day. Somebody else had them. I think they were from a blue box. Oh, we got tangles galore. This thing's pretty now. And it has a tag. It has a tag. Let's see. Let's get it. Let's open it up. This says Chico's. No wonder I like it. I love Chico stuff. Okay. This has chain and then the stations are bars, rounded bars, and some of them have pretty little rhinestones, and this is so cool. Sorry, it's taking so long. Ta-da! See the lines down. Very good. That's nice and long. It's three strands, I think. One, two, three. Let's see, let's put that there. Let's roll this around a couple of good times. That's all you have to do. Usually they get twisted upon themselves. Come on. That's all you gotta do is undo them. There we go. Okay. This thing is cool. I like this. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, they've all got little rhinestones on them. Wow. Triple strand. Really pretty. I love the chain. The chains are different. This is a Rolo. This is a fancy curb chain here. And then the Rolos at the bottom. You see how cool that is? Look at those. I'll probably keep this one if nobody buys it. I like this. 
This would really fancy up just about anything you've got on. Okay, I'll show you from the top. There's the top. There's the rhinestones on those. And as they come down, they get bigger and fatter and longer. And then these are longer still. And then those. Isn't that pretty? So your length on here is 12, let's see. Uh, let's see. It's closer to 38 inches. You've got an extender there. There's the Chico's tag. This is in excellent shape. So there's the curb chain. And then here's that fancier chain. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I'm put seven on this Chico's. And once you get it, you know, it won't get all tangled. Okay, so this is got a mark on it. It says this is like a gunmetal. Gold tone gunmetal. This says Liz Claiborne. Established 1976. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let me hook it back. Yeah, I always wonder why people sometimes unhook these or hook them all the way at the end or why they do what they do. I always wonder. Oh, this is pretty. This is a definite gunmetal. This looks like a hematite colored piece of glass, I think. With some rhinestones around both of them. It's really in good shape. See that? Yeah, it's in great shape. So let's put on this one. Let's see the length of it real quick. It is almost 16. Yeah, it's right at 16 inches and could go longer, of course. I'll show you the tag. Where is the tag? Um, let's put six on this. It's just very interesting. Okay. Next. We have... Hmm. Oh. I guess this just goes over the head. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this one. This goes over the head. You have kind of a... I don't know if that's a rose gold gunmetal color with a black chain inside. And you've got this little rose, and it's got little beads inside of it. Isn't that weird? It's kind of cool, really. So it's long. It's about 28 inches. It's different. It's on a really nice kind of a satiny cord. It's different. I like it. Let's put three on it. Okay, we're digging here. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is blingy. This is really blingy. This says... Hold on here. This says... I don't know who this is. Um, M. Is this Mary Kay? What? I don't know who this is. This is vintage. Um, I don't. I don't know. Let me turn my light on. The other light. Let's see what this says. It says M M Mr. I don't know what this says. M <laughs> This is so funny. K O
I don't know what it is. I'm going to look for it though. I mean, I'm going to study up on it. It is really cool. It looks like it actually says Mr. Kosh or... I don't know. It's very neat. So each one of these has like um, that diamond cutting on it. So I'm gonna put this aside, guys, and I'll try to look it up and see what that is. That is so weird. Very, very strange. Oh, this is pretty. This is a Chico's with a tag. The tag said fifty-five dollars. Chico's with the tag. Chico's says fifty-five. This is really pretty. This is like a really, really pretty gold tone and almost a satin finish with this beautiful light champagne kind of gold, wine gold tone. Oh, this is pretty. Mm, I really like it. Yeah, this thing is spectacular. It is 12, 34 inches. It could be doubled. This thing is in excellent shape. Isn't that pretty? So on this one, I'm going to put 15 just because it's so cool. And I'll be working on that big rope. That's very, very unusual. Okay, we have this one here. Oh, wow. This, this has some missing stones, guys. Oh, my gosh. This is very pretty. This said it's from Bloomingdale's. It has $65. See, it's got two missing here. This thing is just beautiful. Any more missing? Are those missing? No. I might work on this and just take this piece off. We shall see. I'll put this over to the side. It's too, yeah, it's too nice just to throw it away or put it in crafts for a dollar. That is so cool. Okay. Oh, you guys have seen this one before, but I put it out thinking maybe someone would like this as a decoration. It has actually got the, it's ready for its back piece, which I don't have an, I don't have one that big. But I just thought it was really, really pretty. Somebody could put it on a, you know, a wreath for Christmas, you, you know, just many things. It's very pretty. It's like a gold tone, an antiqued gold tone, and the crystals are really pretty. There's none missing, so I'm just going to put $3 on it. And if nothing else, you could just put a little piece of um, styrofoam back here or something. Something that's sticky. Okay, I'll just put 3 on that. We still haven't found that guy. Dang it. Never fails. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, this is like a marcasite feather. This is really pretty. Let's see. I don't see any marks. I do not see any marks. Um. Nope, I don't see anything on here. But that is so pretty. You can go this way or this way. And that is the back. And I think, you know, brooches are really high. They're quite in demand. So I'll put five on this one, this beautiful feather. Okay. The back looks really, really good. 
So I put five on that. Let's see here. There's a few left. I think I've got enough time to go ahead. This is just plastic, but I thought it was cute. It's got those little cat's eye. These aren't cat's eye. These are like, um, oh gosh, what are they called? Um, like opalescent type of beads. There's three of them. And these beads are cute too. Even though these are plastic, this is cute. So I'm put three on it. I think it's darling. I'll put it on. I should put it on. And you know they're not, you know, they're plastic. So I just didn't want you to think they were glass, but they're just plastic. Okay. Here is another brooch. Oh, wow. This is cool. Look at the markings on the back of this. Can you see that? Wow. Let me look at this. Mm. Very cool. Let's see what the pin doesn't say anything. <laughs> All these little marks, you'd never find the real cartouche. Wait a minute. I think it's right here. No? That's not it. Wow. Somebody's trying to be funny. It's like there's a thousand marks. Um, yeah, I don't see anything. I don't see anything but those funny designs. I'll check. Give me a minute here. Yeah, I don't see anything. But there are leaves that are actually etched from the back. So. Very interesting. Um, let's see. This is beautiful. Okay, I'm going to show it to you again. This is the back. In great shape. The pin is a little crooked, but otherwise it's great. This is very neat. It's got a little plastic cabochon, little plastic beads, but it is in great shape. I do believe this is vintage, almost antique. I think I'm going to put tin on it. We shall put 10 on it, guys. It's in excellent shape. The faux turquoise. Yeah, it's very, very cool. Okay. Sorry that took so long. Okay, next. We are just right at an hour, so we're doing good. Next is this little cutie. It's got the faux halite in the red. These are just all plastic pieces. I don't see a maker mark or anything, but it's in great shape. This is pretty. So we're at about, well, it's about 32 inches. So this would be cute, depending on the outfit. This could really jazz it up a little. That's cute. Okay, so let's do three on that. This is me. What is this? This is plastic. This is cool. This is gunmetal. Gunmetal plastic with the blue faux horn. It's set really nice. And it's got a lobster claw. I mean, a lobster class. Sorry. Yeah, it's about... About 30 inches. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty cool. I like that color. Um, let's do four on him. He's nice. Okay. Ooh, look at this. Wow, this is pretty. Is there a clasp? Okay, these rhinestones are on both sides. They're like a um, Rivoli crystal. 
I do not see, is that it? No. This is over the head. I don't know how you'd ever tell who made it if there's no clasp. This is really pretty. Hmm. It's very different. So this is the bottom part. So you would be showing that down towards, farther down, that's 12. About 34 inches. It's in fabulous shape, guys. The skull tone is really nice. So let's do let's do seven on that. That's very, very pretty. Look at the gold. Look at the crystals. See how they they're up? They're like Rivoli's. They're on both sides. Very nice. Very pretty. I'm not sure what else we've got here. Everything else is just kind of... Okay, we have a snake chain here that is gold tone. And it looks like Christmas. The tassel is really pretty. It's out of that same kind of snake material, just not so thick. We've got a disco ball of red beautiful crystals it's really nice super long this is approximately 28 inches this is glass crystals here yeah this is very well made it's cute it is too cute okay so let's do four on that love it too cute. This one's got a little wear to it. Um, it is a Chico's, but I think it's cool. Um, yeah, it does have a little bit of wear on this piece here. I'm not sure if that'll come off or not, but just that I don't think it's just it's just the neatest piece. Look how long it is. And then you've got an extender here, a really nice extender. Um, and it's a Chico's with that little crystal there. Chico's on that side. The gold tone is perfect. It's got a really nice big lobster on it. All the gold tone is in perfect condition. That side's a little better. It's not quite as scuffed. There's really not many scuffs. See, you can really see well out of that. This one's a little more scuffed on the back. So I'm up at five on this one. It's really nice. Nothing else. The snake chain is worth that. This one is an older piece. This is really pretty. This is... Marked Korea, I think. Yep, I was right. It's on a, like a little Singapore chain. It's marked Korea right there. It's a heart. It's really pretty. It looks like vintage. It looks boho. It looks fabulous. It's wearable, you know. It's even though it's older. It's really cute. So I'm going to put four on that. The chain is about 28 inches. Okay, we're almost done. Um, I have this little, this is just a little um, plastic beaded, it's a rosary. It's like a prayer, um, like I said, I think you hold them in your hand or you put them in your pocket. And this is a free one if anybody wants it. It is really pretty. These beads are plastic, so they're light. It's got that beautiful cross. And it's got a vintage clasp there. It's really cool. So that's free if someone would like it. Um, we have a 
very different looking brooch. Isn't that cool? Look at that. I've never seen one quite like this. And there's no name on it. But yeah, that's cool. It's about two inches, two by two. So we'll put four on that. I like that. The back looks good. Look at that. Yeah, that's very interesting. Very boho. Then we have a pendant here, and it says Marcy. Let's see. It says Marcy, M A R C I E U S A. So it must be a company. And I think this is probably pewter. It is beautiful. It's a um, dogwood blossom, I do believe. Beautiful. And there's the cartouche on the back. M-A-R-C-I-E. U-S-A. So I'm going to put 10 on this one. This is like really, really cool. Okay, let's see what else I've got. Because anything that's not, you know, really sellable, <coughs> excuse me, I can always wait. Um, yeah, everything else here is just, these are shine earrings. They have never been out of the, little pouch. They almost look like fuzzies. So we'll put three on the shine. That's a very prevalent name that I see selling things on the internet. This is pretty. That's like a purplish pink with the lotus blossom. And some pretty little designs here. Yeah, this is nice. And it is looking good. So let's put four on that. And I think we're going to go ahead and stop there. Um, these other little incidentals aren't that big a deal. And I can just group them in with another. I'll just show you this one. This is another, what is this? Is this another Chico's? I'll be damned. Isn't that funny? Chico's It's on a beautiful chain. You've got this frosted gold tone. These stations are the same on both sides. The orange and the gold. This is pretty. Okay. It is. About 32 inches. It looks brand new, guys. It looks brand new. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's put seven on this one. And I think that's just about it. I've got these earrings that someone might enjoy. Um... I think the rest of these I can kind of put with um, my next little haul. They're all coming from the same place. Okay. This is pretty. This has got your um, Silver tone, your dark gunmetal, and your bronze gunmetal, and then all these rings are on it down here at the bottom. Very pretty. Got a long extender on it. It is right at 16 inches. It's very nice. So I put four on that one. Isn't that pretty? This looks brand new. I like that. Okay, this one is cool too, if I can get it untangled. This is a white metal and a gold metal. 
And this is very neat. There are, oh, that was easy. There are one, two, three, four strands. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Nice and lightweight. Beautiful. Look at that shine. And this is approximately 32 inches, and it is nice, guys. So let's put five on this one. I really like it. Okay. And I think that's it. I'll show you the earrings real quick. These are boho. And they are pretty. That is the back. These are lightweight. Very easy to wear. So we'll put three on those. I love the designs. They're so cool. Okay, and then we have... Oh, these are pretty. Yeah, that's cool. We have these. Come on. Yay. Now, these are really neat. These are long. These are about four inches. And then we've got these. Oh, those are pretty. These are real pretty. So, all three of these, let's see. Those are three, these are three, and those are three. And I don't see anything else, really, that would just... Yeah, that's my next haul. That's coming up. Um, it's a little boho -y, but it's my next little group that I got. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. Don't forget, these are $3 a piece. They're really, really cute. They're tingly. They sound so pretty. And these do too. Very lightweight. Very nice. Okay. So those are $3. Don't for each. Don't forget the thumbs up on the way out if you forgot on the way in. And we will get back with you tomorrow. I will look this up and see if I can't figure out what this name is. Because this is really neat. It's a nice piece. Um, probably a little big for most, but I, I'm interested in who it is, who the maker is. So we will get back with you tomorrow, and we will have more jewelry for you. Um, some more interesting things coming my way in the mail. And you guys stay well and stay safe. We'll talk to you tomorrow.